We will continue our let review. This is intended for the math majors under the new curriculum. So we have here mathematics and the new curriculum. We have the corresponding table and specification for the professional teachers. This might help you in any entrance examination or a civil service examination since this is basic. And this is also intended for uh, a review specifically in algebra. So we have here or in your secondary high school, secondary mathematics. So without further ado, let's start. Question number one, evaluate the factor of 36x squared minus 36x squared y squared minus 49m squared. So this is a perfect, this is a perfect square. So you are going to get, this is the difference of two square. You are going to get the square root of the first term, which is 6xy and then minus sign square root of the second term. So the square root of 49m squared is 7m. So we are looking for 6xm and then minus 7m. Since we have the standard form for the square of a binomial a squared minus b squared, as we all know, the factors there is the two binomial, the plus minus two binomial a plus b, and then multiplied by a minus b. So you're looking for the factors. We have the square root of the first term and the second term plus minus or minus plus. That is multiplication is commutative. So the answer is letter A. So we have 6xy plus 7m multiplied to 6xy minus 7m. Next, question number two. Another factor, you're going to get a factor of 8 a cubed minus 64b cubed. So since this is a perfect cube, so you are going to form the factors here. You're going to form a binomial and a trinomial. So we have the standard a cubed minus b cubed. So the factors here, you form minus b cubed. You form a binomial, you just get the cube root of a and then copy the sign the cube cube root of b and then you square the first term square the first term change the sign multiply the first and the second and then square the last term that's why we have positive b squared so therefore we have here eight is two the cube root of eight is two a two a and then minus two uh 64 the cube root is four 4b. So 2a minus 4b. And then you square the first term. The first term is 2a squared is 4a squared. Change the sign. That is plus. So change the sign. So plus multiply the first and the second. 8ab and then square the 4b. So we have 16b squared. So the answer is letter, letter C. Question number three. Get the factor of ax plus bx minus ay minus by so this time you are going to what group the first group the common term so we have there ax first group plus bx so then you are going to get the next group you can transfer the negative outside so we have positive ay and then plus by and then factor by getting the common factor the first group common here is x and then you have a plus b and then for the second minus the common there what is the common uh the common is this is by the common is y and then you have a plus a plus b so therefore the factors here is a plus b and the other one x minus y. 
A plus B and X minus Y. So we have there letter D. For P plus PQ minus 1 minus Q. So we are still in the factoring by getting the common factor. So you can group. First group here is you can have P minus 1 and then we have the first group and the second group you get a group which has a common factor. So we have P, Q, minus Q. So the common here, uh, we have here again P minus one, the first fact, uh, the first group, and then factor the second. We have a common, common here is Q, and P Q divided by Q. We still have P minus one. So. The factors are 1 plus Q and P minus P minus 1. So the answer, we have letter A, 1 plus Q and P minus 1. Question number 5, what is not equivalent to the given expression 3AB plus BC? So we have here, uh, what is equivalent to this expression? 3AB plus BC. So you just distribute. Distribute what is found outside the parenthesis 3AB. And then 3AC. 3AB, 3AC. Letter A. Question number six. Which of the following is not a perfect square? So you are going to examine a perfect square has a perfect square root. So here, this is a perfect, we have a perfect square root, same with 169, same with 1,225. So the answer is 325. It's not a perfect square. Does not have a perfect square root. So letter D. Question number seven. You are going to divide the quantity M cubed plus O cubed divided by M plus O. So when you are going to divide a perfect cube, that is a perfect cube. So you are going to, we have here, form a, a cube. This is the general form. If you have A cube plus B cube, the factors here, we have A plus B and you square the first term, change the sign, so this is minus, multiply the first and the second, then square the second term, which is b squared. So this is the pattern here. So same with the given, m cubed and plus o cubed, so that is m plus o, and the trinomial there, you just square the first term, and then change the sign, and then square the second term. So it can be a or a or D. Question number eight, find the additive inverse of negative uh, 2x minus 4. The negative inverse, the additive inverse rather is you have to change the sign. So you just multiply negative outside. So when you multiply, distribute negative, that is negative 2x plus 4. So that is letter, letter D. Question number eight. And number nine, divide and reduce to lowest term. So we have the given negative 9x over 4y divided by 9y squared over 6x six, six squared. When you, are going, when you are going to divide, invert the divisor and multiply. So... You have there negative 9x over 4y and then times 6x squared over 9y squared. So you can use cancellation method and we have here negative 1 and then 6 and 4 you have common is 2. So this is now 3. three and then when you multiply add exponents so we have negative 3x cubed 
this is equal sign divided by that is divided by two we have there two divided by two we have three so that's why you have three x cubed over y and y squared is y cubed so negative three x x cubed to y cubed letter b question number 10 we have there if x is negative 3 then x plus 2 times x minus 2 is equal to you are going to substitute negative 3 for x so plus 2 and then this negative 3 minus 2 so this is negative 1 multiplied by this is negative 5 so the answer is positive 5 letter a okay question number 11 you need to evaluate a cubed minus 3a squared divided by 4 plus a but if your a is negative negative 2 so you are going to substitute here negative 2 cubed minus 3 times negative 2 squared over 4 minus 2. So that is negative times negative times negative. So that is negative 2. Multiply 3 times is negative 8. Minus 3 times 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4 over positive 2. So that is 8, negative 8 minus 12 is negative 20 divided by 2 is negative negative 10 letter b question number tw uh, 12 if 9x squared plus 24x plus d is a perfect square trinomial then d is equal to when you are going to examine a perfect trinomial square it must be the square root of the last first term which is 3x and the square root of the twice twice the square root of the first and the last term is equal to the middle term so if this is we have a perfect square is 16 if this is 4 4 times 3 is 12 times 2 is 24x and another hint here is a perfect square so 9, when you get the square root of 9, this is 3, 3 times 3, 9 times 2 is 18. It's not 24. So the answer here is letter D, 16. Question number 13. If the factor of 9x squared minus 21x minus D is 3x minus 8 plus 3x plus 1, then the value of D is... so. You just multiply the last term here. Negative 8 times 1. Since we have already the negative sign, that is, it must be negative 8. But we have already minus 8, so you need a, the value is positive 8. Letter C. Question number 14. Which of the following can be factored by getting the common factor? So you are going to get an expression wherein there is a common factor. So we have here, this one common here is x. Then you can get the factor x minus 2. So this is the answer is letter C. Number 15, we have the factor factors a squared minus b squared. And that is equal to, so if you have perfect square, the factors is, plus minus the square root of the first and the second term. So A plus B and A minus B. So that is letter A. Question number 16, simplify. So you get the common factor, common here is four, and then divide for A by four. We have A plus 12 divided by four, A plus three. So the answer is letter C. Question number 17, 
This is under division. Find the rem of 3x squared plus 12x plus 4 divided by x plus 4. So you can just use a shortcut method. You can use a synthetic division. So we are going to change the divisor to negative 4 if you are going to use addition. So list down the numerical coefficient for x squared. We have 3. For x, we have 12. And for the constant, we have 4. So first, you are going to bring down 3. 3 times 4, that is negative 12. And then you are going to add, that is 0. Then 0 times negative 4 is 0. And then add, that is 4. So first here is the remainder. And this is for the constant. And then this is for the variable x. Constant is this one is 3x. So the remainder is 4. So the answer is letter this one. It's not B, but letter C. Next, number 18, factor 8a cubed minus 64b cubed. So when you are going to factor a perfect cube, you get the perfect cube root. That is 2a just copy the sign and then 4, cube root of 64 is 4, 4 times 4 times 4 is uh, 64. So we have 2AB minus 4B. So same with the standard form. If you have A cube minus B cube, the factors form a binomial A minus B and then form a trinomial. You square the first term. Change the sign, multiply the first and the second, and then you have to square the last term. Negative times negative becomes positive. So you just follow this pattern and then square the first term for a squared. Change the sign so that it must be plus. So this one, plus. And then square the second term that is 16b squared. Negative times negative is positive. So letter C. 16. Number 19. The expression for x squared minus 2 is equal to if x is negative 2. So you just substitute the given here negative 2 for negative 2. You are going to square that one, then subtract 2. And then when you multiply a negative times negative positive 16 and 16 minus 2. 16 minus 2 is 14. So the answer is 14 letter A. Question number 20. Simplify x cubed minus 5 when x equals 2. So this time you just substitute, substitute the value of x. So we have 2 cubed minus 5. So 2 cubed 2 times 2 times 2 that is 8. 8 minus 5. So the answer there is 8 minus 5 is positive 3. So the answer positive 3. So the answer is letter C. Thank you everyone and good luck in your examination. Please don't forget to subscribe on my channel.